eterabian.com. And when you go to eTurabian, you're going to need to, um, you're going to want to log in and create an account. So notice where it says log in or create an account. Or, and right here normally just says log in with Facebook. Um, I am already already have an account, but you want to just start an account if you have a, uh, with Facebook. You want to just click, then log in with Facebook. And so notice where it says log out. I'm logged in, so it remembers all of my settings. It remembers all of my information, all of my resources. And then I'm going to just click to um, add a book. And um, I will add, let's see, a really, um, a really cool book that I'm reading right now is... Um, Malcolm Gladwell. Now, before you type anything, before you search for any resources, Eterabian is really cool because it will find every um, any one of your research uh, resources for you. But um, you're going to click this little box where it says "Activate Book Finder." This little thing is very important because it means it's going to find any of your resources for you it'll do it automatically but you gotta click that and then I'm gonna type in Malcolm and notice it'll start searching automatically Malcolm Gladwell and then I'm looking for David and Goliath and notice how it pops up automatically so I'm gonna click submit to book finder and then here's a little trick. Um, notice, notice how it gives me the bibliography here at the top, and then it gives, then it gives the footnote. Um, so I'm gonna just take this, take this footnote, copy, copy it. Then I'll come to my document. And I am going to, I'm going to just simply copy and paste in my document. So I'm going to add a footnote here. Copy and paste, and it's just that easy. Now, for those of you who are using Turabian, you know you got a tab and uh, one space there. Um, and it's just that simple. Now you'll notice that right here it has my page number, and that's because and it said it, it defaulted to um, page number one because I did not um, delineate uh, which page that I was um, citing. So if I go back here to Eterabian, I can go to Edit down here at the bottom. I can go to edit and then um, I can go back down through notice it has all of the information there the title the full title the publishing company the city the year it did all of that automatically and then I can just change this and put in the page eh, we quoted from page number 57 okay and then I'll click submit and once again it's right there in my um, it, it's cited automatically so I'm gonna come back copy it then come here and really you obviously don't have to do all of this you could just change the, the page number but paste and there it is and I'll come back again and do my little tab and and it's corrected just as it as it should be in a Turabian style now, there's some really, really cool things about this, about eTurabian, about this program um, that, that you're really, really going to love and appreciate. And one of them is that it remembers and is why it's so important. Again, notice where it says log out because I'm logged into my account. 
it's really important that you log in because when you log in when you create an account it is saving all of your resources for you. Every single resource that you put in to the um, to the database, it is going to record them for you if you have an account. So notice, I'm going to go back and edit again, and then down here at the bottom of the the uh, the resource page, notice I have all of these different project names. Biblical Foundations, the default is where it, it goes into automatically if you don't, um, you know, make a distinct, distinct project, my final project, my historical foundation. These are all projects that I was working on that I told Eterabian, I want this particular resource found or added to this list of resources. So when I was writing my biblical foundations paper um, I would say this particular project this particular resource is I'm citing it for my biblical foundations paper so I would just click it and there it goes automatically now let's just say no I didn't mean to do that I want it for my final project I click it and when I click submit it goes in the list with my final project. Now, Eterabian is really cool. They ask you if you have any suggestions. You make any suggestions, we'll change them. And I made a suggestion. I said, hey, listen, anybody who's who's doing this for a doctoral program, they're going to need a master list so that they can create a bibliography for uh, for their final project or for all of their projects. And, um, and they added that. So even if it goes to a default, um, it will be found in a in a master list. So let's just say I'm gonna put this in my default project because this is not really something that I'm using for my for my paper. And then I'm gonna click submit. And so now I still got my my footnote, my bibliography citation. But then I can come over here to manage projects or citation list. Let's go to manage projects first. Well. No, let's go to citation list. Let's just let's make our final bibliography. Let's just say that we're finished uh, writing the paper and now we want to export the projects into our paper as a bibliography. So I'm going to click this and then notice it has all my projects here again. So I'm going to click this is the project that I'm working on. I'm working on the default project. I want to print my bibliography for this paper and notice it has all of my works right there including Malcolm Gladwell, David and Goliath so I'm gonna come here and I'm going to copy this because notice it's alphabetized as a bibliography um, I could change it to a reference list but we use bibliography so I'm gonna copy this just as I see it I'm gonna copy these and then I'm gonna come to my paper and let's see page break type in bibliography however the format goes paste and there it is there it is. It's already the work is already done for you with Eterabian. Now, a really cool thing again about Eterabian is that um, in here I can remember I can go back to um, my manage project so I can look at all of my projects that I created lists for. Notice I got biblical foundations. These are all of the resources that I have in my Biblical Foundations um, page or my Biblical Foundations paper. And notice over here where it says edit, clone, delete. Um, I can go into each one of these resources. So let's just say this one right here. Let's just say um, James Mays. I quoted this book, um, Harper's Bible Commentary. Let's just say, you know, I put page 1077, but it was really page 1078. So I can go in here, click edit, and then I can change the page number to 1078. It's just that simple. Click submit. 
and it changes it just like that. I'm going to go back here and change it again because it really is page number 1077. Change it, click submit, done. Okay? And I can do this, I can do that, I can change any um, citation that I have in in my in any of my lists so I can I can clone them I can take them out I can do whatever I can send them to um, to to other projects um, wh whatever so I'm gonna go to let's just say I'm gonna go to my default project because I just added something in there right and let's just say I don't want that in my um, paper anymore so I want to take that out so I'm gonna go find this one um, Malcolm Gladwell, David and Goliath, and I'm just going to totally delete this um, this citation. And notice that where's Malcolm Gladwell? He's gone. But notice it only deleted the bibliography, the bibliography citation. So I have to delete both the bibliography citation and the footnote. And it says, are you sure you want to delete this item? Absolutely sure. Click submit. And just like that, it's gone. All right, so you have the, the manage projects. You have the citation list um, export bibliography. And then maybe we should go through the, um, the different types of entries that you can make. Um, Eats Arabian is really smart. It, it knows how to format any type of resource that you're going to enter. So whether it be a book, journal, article, you know, all of the different citations are different for the different types of resources. So whether it's a printed material or online material, it has all of these different um, settings for the way that it cites the, the different resources. And then it could be anything. So you could have a ton of other different um, citation. So here is the list of all of the different citations and no matter what it is you're gonna come over here and and find the one that you're that you're using whether it be an online journal or an, a video online like a YouTube video or an online newspaper you know whatever type of resource that you're using you're gonna come over here click that resource and then um, and then it'll start now once again you know when you do the books it'll find the book for you um, but all of these other ones you just put in the the pertinent information and it's gonna format it perfectly just the way that um, Turabian based on Turabian standards um, and so again I'm gonna show you this one more time um, Make sure you click this activate book finder. We're looking for a published book. Activate book finder. And then um, another book that I'm reading right now or that I just finished reading not too long ago was Necessary Ending. So maybe I'll just type in this right here in the title because I might not remember who, who wrote this. So Necessary Endings. I think it was Henry Cloud. Typed in necessary endings and look look at that comes up automatically. <clears throat> click in, click submit to book finder, and all of your information is is already ready. So there you go. It's eterabian.com. Um, it's a really cool website. It's totally free, and um, the web support. Um, user support is really cool if you have any questions or you want to make any suggestions um, here it is right here it says write to us and and I'm I've had that personal experience they fix stuff so um, so that's really cool and um, this will really really save you cut you save you a lot of time while you're writing your paper and doing your research so God's blessings on you and um, I hope you find success with this program.